Assalamu alaikum. What's up guys? Unlike other tutorials about theoretical boring lectures, this one is about interesting genius prime softwares, a comprehensive sort of molecular biology and sequence analysis tools. So it has different features. We can sequence analyze, we can genome assembly of the sequence of the different genes. We can have different molecular biology tools. So it's available as a feature trial for 14 days. As a beginner, I recommend you should install as a free trial to use the full features and get started. So after clicking on the free trial button, you can download Genius Plan for 14 days by providing your email address, by selecting your country, and also by selecting what type of user are you. So here are three users, student, academic, commercial. If you are a teacher or in academics or using for commercial purpose or you are a student, you can select on the type and get trial license. So by clicking on the get trial license, you agree on the privacy policy of the software organization and you will receive the license key as an email from the Genius Prime company. So it will lead you to the downloading page. As I have already downloaded the software, I will simply open the software. After downloading its basic step, you can install it by providing the application. Where you want to install, you can select the directory. And after installing, it just looks like this. It's a GUI, graphical user interface environment. And also it's user friendly, very easy to use and very interesting software for molecular biology and bioinformatic tools also. So, if you want to know more about Genius Prime software, here it's an official YouTube channel about Genius Prime, uh, Prime and also the playlist containing multiple videos about Genius, how to use with features, plugins, how to install them, what things you can do, and many more. So, coming back to the software, to analyze the data first, you need to import the data. So I have a data file, I downloaded this and here it's a WinRAR file, zip file, compressed. So there are two, two methods. One is to extract file here and then import the data which you have just extracted. And the second file is import directly into the software. So before importing, you have to create an folder. You can Create a new folder with a name. I prefer my channel name, the bioinformatics. So here you can see the folder is automatically created. So drop files here to import. I have the file I can drop directly into the import section. So it will automatically decompress your file if it's a compressed file into the sequence which it contains. So I simply cancel the importing as I have already imported the file, it will take some time. So to save time and to keep video short, here it's the folder I have created with my name and the file containing multiple read sequence. So here we can see we got the file, but it's not the file, it's after the assembly of the result. So when you get the file, you get a single file containing the sequence view of multiple reads, small reads. So after getting the reads, you go to the de novo assemble, click on it, and this is what you get with the default parameter second. So I recommend what I used is what the, I just check this box to circularize critiques of three or more sequence with the end match. So this will help if the ends of the fragments are matched, it will create a circularize critiques of three or more sequences. So I click on the OK button and it will start the assembly. But it will take about roughly it took me about 47 minutes. So it varies about the system machine, I am using a Dell with 8GB memory. 
So if you are not using any other application, it will probably take 47 minutes, 50 minutes count out. So after genome assembly, you get this file actually. But it will depend upon your file, your data. This is what I get from my file from the contains different years. So there are different features we can perform here. This is sequence view. You can see annotation, length of the graph. So this is the graph, number of sequences and sequence length, how these are varying around the sequence length. For my data, the sequence length was about 1,20,590 nucleotide sequences. So this is a large data set. And if I select all, so here you can see a large document for the sign. So this is a very large document for performing different operations. So I don't recommend and it is not necessary for running some operation on such large data set. It will take hours uh, or probably hang your system. So there are some features you can align the sequence, you can do blast, which you file in the NC well. You can design a tree phylogenetically, but also the you cannot design phylogenetically from this large data set. There are few limitations which we will see in the future upcoming videos. Or you can design primer, cloning, and different features. You can play with the data if you want. So every step I did here was open. So you don't need internet connect to assemble your genome. Only you need internet connection when you are importing files from the NCBI databases or Uniprod, protein sequence, gene sequence. So once you have imported, it's all offline and you can now import the data, you can export the data. So suppose I want to export this contigs, I select on the file, export and this is what you can do, export consensus sequence. So see here, it's automatically adjust parameter. I use the default setting, click OK. It will ask you for the destination and the name. It will create a file with the Genius Prime extension. So only it is visible in the Genius Prime software. Cancel. So also you can import the file, selected document. If you select all, you can select the document and import it as a faster format or different format graphs and other thing or batch export. So here, this is file format of genus format, uh, and you can see here variety of formats are available: dashed, text format, mega alignment format, faster format, and with the extension of genius. And you have to um, browse the file location. This is all about the software. You get started, you need a file, you can export, you can import data, you can play around with the data. I hope you like the video. Please subscribe and like the video. And if you want more, you can comment in the comment section. Stay happy, stay well. Allah peace. I will see you in the next video.